Aziz Ibrahim. This is Aziz Rahman. He's uh, the fantastic guitarist. We've seen him performing now and there. Aziz, say hello to the internet in the Middle East. Masala. Masala. <laughs> <laughs> Aziz, just a quick a question about your performance, the stunning piece that you played last one of it. How much percent of it was set and how much percent of creative on the spot when you were when when you're performing? Um, the rhythms are set. As in uh, I, but I create the rhythms there and then. It's not pre-recorded. So you know, so, so basically on the on the on the there you can change something decided to, to make a rhythm. I have a I use, yeah, um, but you can change your, your mind on the time that you do something. Time, yeah. Yeah. Whatever I'm thinking of, then I can use the tools I have on the floor, like a looper is great tool. Um, and um, echoes and reverbs, they're great tools because I, am, I like ambience and I like to play with ambience. The ambience was good background for you. I thought that you're going to use a looper, no, but you use the ambience as a, as a sort of a well, something behind you. I'll tell you a little secret. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what I do is actually it's about rooting, so that when you switch an effect on, it's on and it's off, two states. Yeah. But it's controlling you because when it's on, it's, it can overpower, it can be whatever. But if you use reverb, for instance, like in the recording studio, where when you mix uh, in the studio, you have the one channel would have the instrument and it's always pure so you never lose the instrument sound with the fader then you have two channels which are the returns of the effects the, like the reverb the, the, the outputs of the reverb come on two separate channels so you're mixing three channels together so with the same with the, the same signal, line, yeah. but you can turn up and down the reverb and the mastering of great albums you know david bowie's you know or spiders from mars or whatever the same you're sort of in the old days that's how people they used to ride they call it riding the faders yeah so as he played the notes for instance gary moore would play a solo in thin lizzie and he'd hit the last note they pushed the reverb up so it would bloom yeah, yeah. so that's what i was doing i created like a, a, a little mini mixer which is controlling the other returns. two channels that you return. Yeah, I'm sending, sorry, I'm sending. It's like turning a pot on the send on a mixing desk to the effect. And that's, that's my secret. That's <laughs> brilliant tip. Thanks very much, Aziz. Uh, really welcome. pleased to meet you and we'll let you enjoy your performance in there. Thank you. And hopefully we'll link our channel to yours in there. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs>